Let's take a look at some meat and pass. With those manos, the short staff. So we'll go from this as the blocking surface to begin with. Okay. Meeting the strike on the inside. Okay. And again, the idea is that they are not going to allow us to pass their staff unless they, they give the energy for it to continue to travel in this direction. So again, the example would be that when I block here, that when they attacked me, that basically they hit me and then they come under with a second hit, okay? So I have this movement. Again, this would be lateral triangle movement. Remember lateral triangle can be the diamond or the hourglass, right? So I can go away from and reface, or I can simply turn in and reface, okay? On the next movement that comes under, okay, I'm going to have to give space, pass, and hit, 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 okay? So again, the idea is something like this. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, all right? <coughs> now, if they attack on the backhand side, this one was a tip up, right? Well, actually, I'm not finished yet. <laughs> so the closer one where I crash, <coughs> when they attack, then I use this lower portion to block, okay? And <clears throat> because the deflection already is up, it's pretty easy to pass it, okay? Unless they hit and retract, okay? Or that it goes down, all right? But when they hit and it deflects upward like that, it's actually quite easy to pass, okay? But you still have to make it one movement. So it's similar to what we were saying in regard to this movement, all right? So what I mean is that when I deflect up and I crash, okay, then I already pass it over the top. Okay? One, two, and three. For example, to use the longer part first, right? Don't necessarily have to do that. Because I could be just crashing in and going close range. Okay, all right. So on the other side, if you attack from the backhand side, I have the long point here as the blocking method. Okay. He follows the path of least resistance to continue to attack the lower one. So in this case, it's, he's doing something like this. All right. So. I block, okay, and then as it comes underneath here, following the path of least resistance from the open target, then I pass to this one. So it's high end, short end, hit, 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 okay. High, short, okay. And again, the, the idea is that really it's pretty much a following movement. Okay, whether it goes low or high, it follows in close. Okay, the other one is the tip down, but using this portion here. Okay, and again, following the path of least resistance, I pick it up this way. Basically the same thing. Or, like on the other side, once I use this here and I begin to pass it, pop it up like this. Okay. Okay. This is what I wanted to get to actually. Yeah. Actually, I would read, I would go back, walk it back. Okay. On this one, when I emptied out and I did this, I shouldn't have moved over to this side for the rear tool. Cool. Actually, it doesn't have a real tool because it has two, but it's the same thing. If we stick to the principles, 
right? Even on this one here, using the longer part, right? And when I empty out, I'll uh, continue to move away from the zero tool. Okay? So it was kind of a mistake for me to go from here and then end up on this side, okay? Because you want to get rid of those bad habits. So even though I'm going from outside to in, I'm going away from the rear tool, okay? Or what would have been the rear tool, right? Because you still have the rear kick, okay? Just because he has both hands on his staff, staff doesn't mean he, has, he can't do everything else, okay? All right, so, and lastly, again, what I was saying is that when, when I pop it up this way, okay? That basically, when I pass it, I go by it through there, and then back it. Okay? So one, and two, three, four, five. Again, going away from it. what would have been the rear tool or possibly the rear kick. I'm just going to do it.